After a short trip under the track through the world famous Eldora Love Tunnel and just barely being missed by the water truck, we are now officially in the pits. with Lee Stark of Stark Motorsports. Lee, how'd it feel out there tonight? Uh, it felt pretty good. We were kind of prepared for how slick the racetrack was gonna be, and uh, Warren got her tuned in pretty good, so everything went well. I think that we kind of missed a little bit qualifying. There was a hole over here in turn three that kind of screwed us up a little bit, but other than that, we ought to be in pretty good shape. So Warren dialed it in pretty good for you. Oh yeah, Warren dialed it in and Jack chewed my ass enough times where we're, we're squared away now. So we stood on it a little bit. Absolutely. Excellent. Hey, as far as the um, the whole idea about rehabbing stuff, with the rising cost of um, racing today, it's a pretty good deal that we're able to rehab a chassis such as this. Because the chassis is probably one of the most expensive parts of the car other than the motor. Yeah, well, it's not just the chassis. I mean, basically every steel part that goes on this race car and a lot of the aluminum stuff gets powder coated. And for us to be able to powder coat that and then resell it or make it look new again, it just generates more income for us and our team. I mean, especially with diesel fuel being what it is right now, everybody's hurting. And to give us the ability to be able to do that is a real advantage. I mean, I'm we're very happy with that. Well, I'm happy with it too, because that's job security for us. Absolutely. Um, as we know, sprint cars tend to be on the roof almost as much as they are on their whole four wheels. So we always have a kid about sprint car um, it's not as much are... rehab as it is replacement. That too. <laughs> you know, none of us are smiling when that happens, but right. uh, it is a good deal with like all the rising costs to be able to Absolutely. do that. Um, so we can also make you look good yeah. and also make it somewhat economically for you to do this. Yeah, making us making us look good is the hardest job that you have. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, that's great. Well, we got a heat race coming up. Um, what are we in? I'm not sure where we're starting yet. Their girls are up looking at the lineup right now. Hopefully we're, uh, we made the inversion and we're gonna be starting somewhere towards the front of this thing and put her in the show tonight. Excellent, well we're looking forward to it. We'll be in the stands filming, watching, so good luck tonight. All righty, thank you very All much. All righty, man. Yep. Have a good one. Good day. Okay, Warren, we just got Lee's perspective on the setup on the car. He says it's pretty good. Why don't you give us his perspective, your perspective on how he drove the car? No, he drove well. Um, Especially after the last time we raced here, we had a lot of feedback, and now we're able to get the car a lot faster, and it was good. He's probably the queen he's been around here in a while, so. That's good. I saw we run about a 14 flat, which is yeah. very respectable tonight. Yeah. Good deal. A lot of good company here, so we'll, we'll just keep tightening this race car up to suit the track and right. get him in the show. Well, hopefully they can hear that accent of yours over these cars going yeah. around. Yeah, they so know, we'll, we'll get out of your way. Yeah. Get that thing dialed in tonight so we put it in the winter circle. Not a problem, Bill. All right, man. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Now we're inside the trailer of Starks Motorsports with someone that knows rehab way too well. We have veteran and my favorite driver of all time, Jack Hewitt. How we doing? Jack, we're doing terrific. Rehab for physical, not drugs or alcohol. Let's get that okay. correct. Yeah, yeah okay. we'll make sure the fans know that right. in lieu of all of your favorite yeah. NBA players yeah. and such. So anyways, um, Jack, what is your role with the Stark Motorsports and Lee Stark? Well, we're just here to help. I say I'm babysitting, but uh, we're here just to coach him and 
try to give him some of the experience that we learned over 29 years of racing, you know, and uh, it's just a hard deal to do to try to teach up and coming kids just because things have changed and it's easier to tell somebody to do something than just go out and do it, you know. So uh, we're trying to help him, get, coach him along and try to get him faster. That sounds great. I know his dad, I heard his dad tell you, um, which is Mike Stark of Valley Eye, uh, Mike had said he just wanted you to keep him out of trouble. Yeah, well, he's a good kid. I, you can't say nothing about him because everybody comments on his personality and everything right now. And Personally, I wouldn't hang out all summer long with a spoiled brat. No, none of us would, I don't no. think. But as far as, as you're being here and everything, I don't know a lot of people understand how important or how big of a deal racing at Eldora is. Well, from this, you know, I've been as far away as Western Australia, and this is the racetrack they talk about clear around the world, you know, and uh, this is the premier racetrack, and to be at Eldora and to only live 35 miles from there, I mean, I'm lucky. You're lucky because you're a little closer than me, but to grow up around Eldora Speedway is definitely a blessing. Well, I'll tell you what, I think with your help and um, a lot of other people's help and a lot of good prayers, I think maybe we can get Lee's name out there so it's also well known. Well, I would say the day that we went to race here with Lee Stark will be the same as me winning in my car. Not quite the same as driving, but it would still be a proud moment for us, all of us. So we might see you jump up and down. Absolutely. I might even have a beer, and you know I don't do that. <laughs> that's for sure. Well, that's great. Well, Jack, thanks a lot for taking hey, time bro. out to see us. Get back to work. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> no problem. After donning the proper fire protective clothing and a bulletproof helmet, we are finally ready to go racing. From the looks of the performance of the number 16 Stark Auto Racing Valley Eye Institute Rehab Sprint Car, everyone agrees this has been a terrific refurbishment. I'm Bill Coomer and we'll see you next week on Metal Rehab.